Hello dear Guitar Maniacs, in this episode I want to show you the sonic differences between five different acoustic guitar sizes and types. If you like what you see, please give us a thumbs up, please subscribe to our channel and now have fun! Alright, so the first category you have is the concert or parlor size or Martin wise it would be called the O size. This is probably the smallest type of guitar that is around and this one resembles a little bit of a classical guitar. It's not very loud, it doesn't have a lot of bass but it's very punchy, it's very clear and it's very fast in the attack. This is how it sounds like. Alright, so the next category are called the double O or triple O guitars, also referred to as auditorium or the ones with the longer neck are called orchestra models. Um, the one I'm holding right here is, is a Breedlove Concert. This one is somewhere between the double O and triple O size. Um, these guitar types became very famous because Eric Clapton used a triple O model on the famous Unplugged album. Um, these guitars make a very good compromise between the um, playability and the, and the size and the, and the punchiness of the parlor model, but also of the volume and of the flash of the dreadnoughts. So here's an example. Alright, now we come to the bigger guitar models. This one here is a so-called Dreadnought. They are named after the big Mississippi ships. And these ones are great for strumming, they are great for picking, they have a lot of volume and a lot of bass. Probably it's not the guitar that you need all the time in the, in the studio because sometimes you have to cut away a lot of the bass, but it's still a very good universal all-round guitar. So if you have to pick just one, I'd probably go for the Dreadnought. Okay, let's listen to it. Okay, the next category of the big bodied guitars are the jumbos, named after the first Gibson jumbo models. The one I'm holding here right now is a so-called small jumbo, so it's a little bit smaller than the, the usual jumbo sizes that are probably even bigger than some, some dreadnought models. Um, the jumbos are used a lot by singer-songwriters and in the folk business. Um, very good to accompany yourself while singing, it's very good for strumming. Now let's listen to the small jumbo.
And the last category is the 12 string guitar. You essentially have six double strings where the lowest four strings are in octaves and the highest two strings are in unison. A little trick would be not to um, tune the highest strings in perfect unison but to keep them slightly out of tune to have a sort of chorus effect in it. These guitars are great for strumming and picking and music history is full of examples where 12 string guitars are used. Let's listen to it. <laughs> 